Welcome to another episode of Idea Dream Home Season 5. When you build your home, there are certain rules you should follow. So let's find out from our judges. Our judges, Anna Kurivila, Arun Vidya Sagar. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Arun, uh, we know there are a lot of rules when you construct a home. So is it necessary to follow those rules? Absolutely necessary. Uh, there are rules which have some uh, options which uh, are listed in the rule book. Uh, it is listed in a book called Kerala Municipal Building Rules, okay. which is generally followed uh, in throughout the state. And there are some rules which are followed nationally, which goes under the National Building Code. But for houses generally, Municipal Building Rules of Kerala is necessary. And it varies with certain conditions from the panchayats mm -hmm. and the town areas. Uh, and some uh, roads have specific rules that are stated in the respective town planning departments. So these have to be followed. The good thing about following the rules is you are always right. You can always claim your right in any part of the, uh, any, any part of an argument. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also sets some social guidelines for building houses so that there is a, a equal amount of right of light uh, and air for every house. These rules are based on a lot of research. So, uh, following those rules is very important for even the communal, community kind of living. Like, uh, you can't encroach on the wall, you can't build a but thing, a wall and all that. Like he said, everybody has a right to the air and the uh, and a lot of sunlight and all that. So, it's very important we follow this. And in terms of a fire hazard or something, if you don't follow, there are a lot of issues that will come out like uh, you would see in Bombay and all that houses that are built. Okay. So if there's some danger of a fire or something, it would spread fast. So if we follow the rules, mm -hmm. it is easier like there will be enough fire, fire escape uh, routes or uh, things, uh, things like that. So it is very, very important you follow the rules. So let's move on to the house for the day. That is uh, Kundel house from Kakanat. Hi friends, welcome to Idle Dream Home Season 5. I'm standing in front of Kundel House in Padamogal Junction, Kakanad. This is a 6,200 square feet, 4 bedroom house. It's a 3 four floor house built in a Kerala style with bit of modern touch attached to it. To talk about the landscape area, they have garden space going around the perimeter of the house. A special mention about the stone pecola design, it has, it's, uh, gives attractive appeal to the landscape as well as it's a gateway to the uh, utility area. They have stone pavements throughout this landscape area uh, with little bit of grass on it that leads us to the entrance of the house. <laughs> The car parking area has been blended quite nicely with the house. The exteriors have not been compromised and the car parking area is sitting at the lower level. The pillars uh, next to it is done with stone cladding. Behind me is the outhouse which also serves as a servant quarters or a guest room. A comfortable spacious set out area right at the entrance built in the typical Kerala traditional style uh, to talk about the flooring they have granite flooring you has been used in right in the entrance the main door welcomes us to the living area the decor has been kept simple with cotton fabric white curtains that complement the white walls provides good lighting too uh, for the ventilation they have a lot of windows even the arch that provides ample amount of ventilation in this room then fall ceiling has been used with curved lights and blue LED strips. Great texted walls gives a unique appeal to this dining area. The dining table has been made by using uh, rose wood and above they have hanging design with wood veneer. Also lighting sign provided which I believe looks pretty good at night. The flooring in this particular area is laminate wooden flooring. Opposite to me they have a wash area that opens up to the bathroom. On my left is the kitchen so let's go inside the kitchen now. Well, to talk about the detailings of the kitchen, and they have granite slab, wooden cabinets have been provided above and below. Uh, then they have not kept the, uh, the walls completely plain. They have great textured work, then suspended wooden ceiling have been provided with LED lightings. 
So all in all a simple and elegant kitchen. To my left is the work area that opens up to a storage room as well. Halfway up the staircase we have the prayer area. Suspended ceiling with blue LED strips. Then uh, side walls have been done with grey textured work, cotton fabric. Uh, flooring has been put a laminated wooden flooring. So all together they have tried to maintain a serene look for this entire area which goes in well with the theme. I'm going up from the prayer area to the second floor, the spacious lobby area. Then the wall opposite to me, they have done textured wall, not keeping the wall simple. Bedrooms are brought on both the areas, so let's go inside the bedroom now. I'm at the master bedroom and the first thing that you, I would like you to know is the design on the headboard. They have used textured work with LED, uh, you know, blue LED strips which gives a very attractive appeal. Then above on the ceiling they have wooden pergola, wooden laminate flooring has been used. They also have uh, wooden uh, built-in wardrobes. The door next of the house and I have an interesting surprise waiting for you guys. Follow me. Big LCD projector with soundproof room and interact lightings. Well, this is the home theater designed by the Canadian based Infinity Group and they have kept the luxury and the comfortable aspects together. Recliners have been provided and decor has been kept black which gives a very good movie watching experience altogether. So that was all about Kunel House from Kakanad. I hope you liked it. This is me Abel signing off. So that is Kunel House from Kakanad. It's a 6000 square feet 4 bedroom house. So let's hear the comments. Anna, what about the exterior landscape, form and character? First thing that you notice about this house is a very high boundary wall. Uh, that might be good for the privacy of the house, but when you're sitting inside the house, it looks more like a fort. But they've made use of the uh, natural contours of the land. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a car park that's at a lower level, then the landscape goes up. They've even used the wall for putting potted plants, that's good. But a lot of cladding, here they have gone for the natural stone. Mm -hmm. So. It doesn't look that jarring but I, again I would say it is a little on the higher side. Then they have clubbed a lot of wood that they have gone for the traditional charavadi mm -hmm. in the sit out. Uh, so um, if stick with one style if they had stuck with it, uh, it would have been better but the security cabin if you notice there are, there are a lot of lines it's too busy and it's too jarring and all that. Again uh, somewhere near the car park they have used different kinds of car cladding stones also. It is an okay elevation. And your opinion on that? I, I think uh, they have tried to do uh, something in a very detailed way but it didn't work out. Like mm -hmm. she said there is a clash of whatever they were trying to do. Uh, it's called slow proof. And I feel the slow proof kind of changes the angle at a point somewhere. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't uh, really uh, stand out as a specific character or, or mm -hmm. anything. Uh, it's just got slow proof with 
flat face gable ends. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, I think the stone cladding could have been gotten rid of it. Instead, white paint would have made the house much bigger. And again, the wooden cladding uh, and the uh, seats, the charibadi mm -hmm. in the entrance, uh, they tried to mix the traditional thing with the house. The house mm -hmm. is nowhere traditional, looks nowhere traditional. And then uh, I think we look into that wood a little more than that is required, with that wooden area in the center. And then uh, they've used the levels, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. And the landscaping is pretty much limited to the edges of the wall, the tall compound wall, uh, mm -hmm. close to which they have some steps and the potter plants go on there. House looks really huge, but having just four bedroom for such a big house is uh, a little not proportionate. Okay. Uh, now coming to the interior flooring and kitchen. Interior, they've uh, done a lot on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. They've gone for wooden finish ceiling. If you notice, it is in the wavy pattern. It is a bit heavy for uh, something inside the house, but then they've tried something. Uh, the light fixtures, all of mm -hmm. them I must say are good light fixtures, like uh, they've gone for very good light fixtures. Uh, you see, um, they've used laminated wood throughout the house. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the steps, I guess they had an issue when it came to the edges of the steps. So they've kept another beading on the edge of the okay. step, which doesn't look all that great and might be um, a dangerous thing to have something protruding at the end of the step like that. Uh, they have a very traditional kitchen and they have, I see they've used glass in the base cabinet. Okay. That might be a safety issue also because uh, uh, the bottom part of the kitchen cabinets we might end up, you know, uh, knocking, it, our it legs. knocking our okay. legs or the mm -hmm. utensils. So that is something they need to address. They have uh, given a lot of niches in the bedroom wall uh, and with the light, I'm not really a big fan of it but then the textured wall looks better with the blue light for here they could have bought those details into the living dining and all okay. that there it's uh, plain so these okay. are the things and Arun what is your opinion the interiors are not very uh, very loud uh, mm -hmm. they have done very minimally except some areas like the dining area uh, where it's become dark mm -hmm. uh, there mm -hmm. it's a little heavy so uh, the, probably there I would have gone for some more natural light they've only had uh, more of artificial lighting there and okay. then uh, the sofas in the upper floor, they are good, means in front of the prayer. Okay. Yeah. That, that is a nice uh, selection, but uh, they have arranged in a different way, straight. in a straight line, mm -hmm. uh, in front of the prayer, probably for the elder folk. Uh, but it doesn't make a sense having uh, so much furniture in one place. Okay. Then uh, there is this wavy pattern fall ceiling in the dining area, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think is that great for a house. It's usually uh, done for public spaces like uh, hotels, pubs, etc. Mm -hmm. And then blue light, again, I don't know if it works out with uh, this kind of interior. Okay. Uh, the bedrooms uh, are done very minimally. It's not done very heavily. There are some niches and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel the wardrobe for the master bed was really small. I mean, for a house of this scale, uh, having a bedroom and then having a wardrobe that small would not be a proportional thing. Okay. So that, the, again it comes back to the choice, Means uh, probably they needed that much only. Then uh, kitchen again, make sure you are selling the glass in the lower part, it's going to be mm -hmm. uh, difficult to work with. The kitchen looks big, okay. they have done, uh, made use of the space and uh, I don't uh, know if the texture on the uh, side, on the one side of the wall, uh, on the window wall is that great because the kitchen tends to get uh, dusty and dirty. Mm -hmm and oil splats right. and things like that. Yeah. So it will be difficult to clean. Uh, the home theater is the uh, highlight of the house. They've got some great designers to do the home theater. Okay. So that, that's a big... Sp uh, now to the color decor lighting. Uh, the th important thing that we see in this house, it's mostly dark okay? mm -hmm. and they've got very dark furniture, the stain on the wood is very dark and they've gone for the same curtain I think so, uh, white curtains throughout. Like you said, the furniture in the upper floor are better than the ones that are there downstairs and uh, they've tried to uh, put in these colored light. Mm -hmm. uh, at some places it's okay but still uh, blue light would hinder with your sleep so okay. though it looks the texture looks good but it's not the ideal thing to be put in a bedroom okay and I don't uh, same like what she has to say the 
texture pattern on the back side of the beds mm -hmm. I, I don't know how it will work uh, in the night I mean, okay. if they don't use it it's fine but if they like to see that blue light it's going to be uh, like a uh, yeah. very different kind of feel for sleep mm -hmm. uh, same thing with the ceilings and the uh, common areas again blue light I don't know people have this craze of going for weird colors uh, how it works out okay. for the whole ambience and again soft furnishing they want just for one simple color mm -hmm. so it's not bad but uh, some rooms demand for some better treatment, okay. uh, which has to be taken care of. No, and uh, for the overall ambience? Lot of wood, lot of cladding stone, very high walls. Though there is lot of windows and it's airy, it looks a bit dark. Mm -hmm. So the house should be, um, I think light is a very uh, beautiful element that attracts people. When it's bright, you are naturally attracted. So in the morning, I'm sure, uh, it's a bit, it's not that inviting. I'm sure okay. it looks better on the night. Uh, overall ambience, I would say just average. Okay, um, and uh, you Arun? See, I would like to compare both exterior and the interior mm -hmm. for the ambience sake. Mm -hmm. uh, so for exterior, ambience in the outside is not that uh, that creative as such. Mm -hmm. Or uh, it, it does not show any specific character or anything, which uh, should be a continuation of what we see inside when okay. you go in. So I think the same thing has happened inside also. Uh, and there is no specific style that has been followed. It's just like a pick and mix. But some mm -hmm. of them have clicked, some of them don't. And mo uh, I think most of them stand away from each other. And uh, like she was telling, that light is a scarcity in the house. For a house of 6,000 square feet, lighting has to be important. So, Hannah, how much do you want to give on exterior landscaping form and character? I would give them uh, 17. Um, it is a very uh, predictable house, like it is not a contemporary house, like you would see uh, lots of uh, stone and um, grass and all that. Okay, and Arun, what about you? I have the same same score, 17 out of 25. There is nothing so uh, really standing out uh, to uh, give us a better judgment. I feel they had the opportunity to do, but they okay. have not come up with the best. Uh, they can even uh, probably try out in the next mm -hmm. time they go for a renovation of it. Okay. And then uh, what about the interior, flooring and kitchen? Kitchen uh, has a lot of practical issues like the safety part, but it's a very uh, airy kitchen and uh, uh, the uh, it's a big house, but uh, the and it had a lot of scope in terms mm -hmm. of interiors. I've given them 16 on 25. Arun? Yeah, uh, they have to do a lot on the interiors. So they have to actually sit down and think how they are going to connect the spaces okay. together. Uh, some stuff which can be avoided should be avoided. And uh, whatever is there, uh, they have to find a connect. It's very easy. Some furniture may be moved here and there. and uh, uh, Probably some <coughs> more lighting has to be brought in. Mm -hmm. Only then the space would look better. So that will add to the interior quality. So okay. I have given them 70. Okay. And for color decor lighting? If you would notice there wasn't much of color, it was more mm -hmm. of the color of the wood and the blue from the LED lighting strip, I have given them 16 on 25. Uh -huh. uh, I would give them 17, again for the same reason, there is actually lack of lot of things and okay. it, just probably the, if the color of the wood was lightened, would have made a lot of difference yeah. mm -hmm. and probably not go for so many colors. Uh, in the uh, uh, dining area it's become dark, okay. the pro uh, even if the dining table was slightly lighter it would have reflected a better and then even the ceiling in the dining so everything all adds on I would give 7 and then how much for overall ambience I've given them 16 again um, because uh, there is the difference in exterior interior there's, there's no connection there is a lot of landscaped area mm -hmm. you can't view anything from inside it's once you enter the house it's like you are in a closed okay yeah so 16 or 25 I don't know General ambience, I would give 17. Okay. So, Kunil House Kakranath gets 65 from Anna and 68 from Arun and 33 from public. And that makes a total of 166 out of 250. So, that's all for today. We will see you in our next episode.